Still using SDI, know that IP will be in your future. Don't know how to get from one to the other? It's AIMS, the Alliance for IP Media Solutions to the Rescue. To a customer of an AIMS member, it means freedom of choice. No longer are we in a world with multiple competing standards. If you're developing product along the AIMS roadmap and a customer sees that, they know that they can buy that and have freedom of choice, best of breed. Hello everyone, I'm Tiffany Haley from Grass Valley at Belden Brand, and this is Five and Five, five questions in about five minutes. In this episode, we're talking with Mike Kronk, Vice President of Core Technology for Grass Valley and Chairman of the Board for Ames about what Ames means to you. Mike, Ames recently merged with m and the Media Networking Alliance, which focuses on AES 67. How does that merger affect the work you'll be doing as this larger organization to benefit the industry, especially at NAB? Well, I think our, our reach becomes broader. Uh, by teaming with the m and uh, which is focused on AES 67 audio, and audio standard, we're really reaching out not just to, to broadcasters, but the audio c community and the install community that they, they support. So Mike, when a company joins Ames, what does that mean for them? Well, it, it gives them access to a whole group of companies and broadcasters that are focused on IP standardization. And so that allows them to uh, speed product development, to have a voice uh, in, in the industry, uh, and to also tell their, their customers that they are a standards-driven company. Taking that one step further, what does it mean to a customer of an Ames member? To a customer of an Ames member, it means freedom of choice. No longer are we in a world with multiple competing standards. If you're developing product along the Ames roadmap and a customer sees that, they know that they can buy that and have freedom of choice, best of breed. It seems like we've been talking about the IP transition for years. What progress have you seen since the formation of Ames, both on the manufacturer and broadcast media company sides? Seen tremendous progress. First of all, we have an alignment. The, or, the industry is now aligned on one standards-based approach to IP. We've seen the uh, publishing of SMPTE ST 2110, new standards uh, for IP, and we've seen multiple deployments. Over 100 deployments based on SMPTE ST 2022-6, and uh, we are all starting to see deployments even on SMPTE ST 2110. If you could, in a word, Tell me, what's the biggest payoff for someone thinking about transitioning from their operations from SDI to IP? In a word, mm -hmm. flexibility. With, with IP, I can scale to bigger than I ever have before. I have that flexibility. I have the flexibility to, to use multiple formats. Uh, and I have the flexibility to handle uh, things like HDR and, and higher, higher bit depths. The standard covers that. IP supports that. Uh, and it paves the way to the f future, regardless of which of those formats uh, you need to work with. And that's five questions in about five minutes with Mike Kronk, Vice President of Core Technology for Grass Valley and Chairman of the Board for Ames. Thanks for joining us. I'll speak with you again soon. It was a pleasure.